Hey there, so this is gonna follow up to an earlier claim that I made of how you can add Wi-Fi capabilities to your existing GP Star kit using just an ESP32. So I freed this one up. Uh, if you see my other video about how to build out the attenuator, this is the exact same controller that I've used for that. This one's on a terminal shield. So the nice thing about this is you can connect to all of the various pins by simply using the screw terminals. And we're gonna do exactly that. So on Amazon, you can get a pack of these. They are JSTXH pins. Uh, JSTXH pins and pre-wired connectors. And they come in various sizes. You can get like a pack of 10 pretty cheap. Uh, it's just this. It's already got everything crimped. There's uh, pre-soldered, pre-tinned ends, and those are gonna fit right into our, uh, into our terminal shield. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up two pairs of wires. We're gonna hook up power, and we're gonna hook up data connections. And this is pretty easy. So the, the good news is the polarity on these is already set. It's gonna match up to the five volt out that already exists on your controller. With uh, If you're looking at the, with the little tab facing you, positives on the left, negatives on the right, so we are matched up. All we need to do is attach power to the V in. That's our five volt input. And we attach a ground to the ground. And just make sure those are those are secured. Sorry, let me flip it like this so you can actually read it. So we have V in, goes positive, and GND for ground. There, we just did the power connection. Now for data, we need, um, let's see, we're gonna have receive RX on the left, TX on the right. So unfortunately we only have the same two colors, so let's not get these mixed up. These are not power cables. This is receive on the left, so receive is red. Receive is gonna go to transmit on this device. And what we are gonna be using is on this side. It's labeled TX2 and RX2. It is basically the serial two connection. And that's one of the nice things about this board is it does have multiple serial connections unlike the Arduino Nano. So by power of production, if we have receive going into transmit, then we have transmit going into receive. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. All right, so there we go. We've added our wires to the TX2 and RX2 ports. And let's see if this works. So I'm going to unplug a prior connection that I had in each of those. And notice that's all we have. We have no lights, we have no other devices, we just have power. And we're gonna plug the power into the 5V out. Meanwhile, the data our serial connection is going to plug into the RX1 TX1. I want to make sure I got the labels correct on that. Don't worry, this will all be in a diagram in the documentation, but I just wanted to have the video to show what it looks like. I'm gonna turn my battery on. All right, just to make sure everything works, I'm going to turn on the wand. Yep, we're gonna change it to level five. And we do have power here. So I'm gonna get my phone. And I'm going to go into my Wi-Fi settings. And as expected, there is my Proton Pack for this controller. I've got this wireless network already available. And I'm gonna go into the new web UI. And that looks correct. And yep, as soon as I start, Pressing the button, we are firing. And if I change the power level, if you watch the dial or the number as I turn the dial, there we go. So with two pairs of wires and just a cheap little controller, 
we have added all of the Wi-Fi capabilities, including pack control. And I just turned the pack off. It is spinning down. Mm -hmm. And there we go, it's off. And again, for this magic trick, pack on. And we've started back up. Perfect. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Less than about five minutes of actual work. Hope you enjoy.